Hi everyone, this is Callie. I am so honored to be a guest here on Live Love Cards today. I'm going to be sharing with you a shaker card that also has a suspended element to it. This card is made using a stamp set called Monster Love by My Favorite Things and I'm going to start off by making a background panel using Distress Inks that will be used for the entire construction of the card. So for the first color here I have Cracked Pistachio and I usually just have one blending tool that I just switch out the foam that I store underneath each mini Distress Ink Cube. Um, so I'll just go ahead and fast forward through this Distress Ink Blending. Um, it's a little boring to watch and kind of redundant, but um, you all know the drill. Just go work slowly in circular motions. And um, I just have a little piece of paper that I um, use to hold my fingers down on the paper because I don't want the ink to transfer to my fingers. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to set that panel aside and let it dry. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my monsters. And I love that these monsters are solid stamps, so I could just use one color for each monster and not worry about ha the hassle of coloring it with any other uh, coloring mediums like Copics. Um, I just think this is a huge time saver. Um, you can do blending effects with these if you want, but you know, like I said, I just like that it's quick and easy. And so um, I also like that it has coordinating faces. Says. I just think it makes these monsters super fun. So I'm glad that I have a chance to use these. So this first color is Sweet Sugar Plum. It's a new color by Stampin' Up. The second monster is in Marina Mist. It's not a new color. It's in every catalog and you can get it all the time. And this is Mint Macaron. I believe this is the last year for this in color. And the last color that I'm using is Peekaboo Peach and it's also a new in color so it'll be sticking around for the next two years. And once I'm done doing these monsters, I'm going to put them in my skin and cut. I don't have matching coordinating dies, so I use my brother skin and cut to cut out these monsters. And then I have a frame die that I'm going to be using um, to cut out the shaker portion. So you can use a circle, you can use any um, any type of die that you have, and if you don't have frame dies, you could just use nesting dies and use two different sizes to cut out um, a pop-up, I guess you can say, because that's really the intent of this shaker card, is just having a framed portion, whether it be rectangle, circular, oval, or whatever, um, pop up on top of the card to create the shaker portion. So I'm just lining everything up and taping it down so that I can um, paste this on a card base that's a two size, that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to adhere the outer portion and the center portion. And then I've added some window, um, some window paper to the frame portion to create a shaker. Now I have 3M foam tape that I'm going to use to prop up this frame so that I can create the shaker portion and I'm just going to cut this 3M foam tape uh, in half to make sure that it's um, going to fit on that frame just right and it does and really if you want um, your sequins to float around freely you can double up on this foam um, I just did one layer of it because I don't like my cards to be too bulky and um, especially for mailing I don't want it to have any trouble so now to create, uh, or before I create the suspended portion, I want to add the sentiment inside the frame. Um, you can also emboss this on the card like I am now, or you can also emboss it on the window film. Um, I just forgot to do that before I constructed the card. Um, so big bummer there, but this works out just fine. Um, it keeps the card simple. And also, I could have done some water splashes on this Distress Ink panel to give it some, some more interest, but I also forgot to do that as well. So now I'm using some transparent thread, invisible thread, and I'm just going to make it the length of the card and tape it down on this monster so that um, he can suspend freely from, from the inside of this shaker portion. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use scotch tape to tape that down. And then using some ATG adhesive or any dry adhesive that you have, I'm just going to put a little bit at the top in that frame portion and a little bit at the bottom to hold that thread in place. Now I want that monster to shake freely from side to side, so I'm not going to um, hold the thread down um, and, and I want to say um, keep it taut. 
I'm, I'm not, I don't want it to be taut. So I kind of want him to shake freely. So I'm just going to move him up a little bit to make sure that he can shake freely back and forth. Now he is shaking too much. So I'm just going to pull on the thread a little bit towards the bottom so that he can shake just a little bit inside that frame. And then before I completely add the shaker portion, I am going to just twist that thread onto the dry adhesive that's there to hold it in place as opposed to just cutting it off. You run the risk of maybe it shaking out of place and, and falling apart. So um, I just wrap the thread onto that adhesive and then I almost added this frame on and then remembered I needed to add my sequins. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some various sequins colors onto that shaker portion. And then I will add my frame to um, finish off the shaker portion of the card. So I'm using Pretty Pink Posh here and some Daris Iridescent sequins. Um, everything I have used for this card will be posted below. So um, don't worry about um, not knowing what colors I'm using here. Everything will be listed below. So once I added the amount of sequins that made me happy, I went ahead and put that frame on top. And there you go. You have a shaker portion with also a suspended monster that shakes back and forth. You see there the sequence does float on top of the monster and behind and, can, and it can get him to get stuck. So if you don't want that, make sure you double up on the, foam, on the 3M foam tape when you go to um, adhere your frame to your card base. The last thing is um, just adhering these monsters onto the card and that just finishes everything up. I really hope you enjoyed this card. Thank you for joining me. And again, I am so excited to be a part of this. And thank you, Darlene, for this honor of being a guest designer on, on Live Love Cards. Thanks, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.